This segment is called Hook of Week, but I'm, do I have to, there's a preface I have to read here. We at Radio Dead Air are not sex adverse, nor are we about shaming women for their choice of costume. No, no. What Hooker Weed is about is not so much the matter of dress, it's what they're dressed as. Because the implication being that someone, somewhere, wants to fuck it. The idea behind the sexy costume is it's supposed to actually be something sexy, or something that could be sexy. And that's just gone wrong. Well, our first thing tonight that, all right, this is a quaint little custom you have. I guess we call this a side note or a runner up or something. It's a quaint little custom you have. There's a big orange fruit that grows out in fields, and you take it home and you gut it, <laughs> and you turn it into a makeshift skull. A jack o' lantern. It's charming. I, you, you, apparently this wards off the dead or something. Mm -hmm. And then you make pie out of the innards and it's delicious. Well. Everything this out seemed of the innards. charming. This seemed charming. The charm has gone. There's a product dubbed Porn Kids. This is a kit that enables you to carve porn on a fruit and light it up for all your neighbors to enjoy. And I must, I simply must, there's, there's got to be a better picture I can get here, because one of them is just... Well, you can make a goatsy pumpkin. Yeah, that's the one. That's the Who one. Who doesn't want a goatsy pumpkin? Let's see. Where is it? That's the one. This, this. And what's funny is the way some pumpkins grow, all you'd really need for that is a drill and a pair of gloves. There it is. That's, that's the, uh, that's, that's. I mean, let's be honest, thanks to the wonder of Dad's creation, a lot of pumpkins already look like spread ass cheeks. Wow. Is it not majestic? I would, I would just, and this isn't something someone, this is, what you need to understand at home, this isn't a one off. This is something someone just did by themselves. This is a product you can buy that will allow you to turn any pumpkin into an anus. You can make your own. A flickery, fiery anus. I can only imagine what sort of candy you get at this house. Probably the edible undies they sell at Spencer's because they basically taste like fruit roll-ups. The next runner-up, this is a thing that has happened a lot this year, more than it should. You had an unfortunate in incident with a footballer and his um, significant other. His name was Ray Rice. And he was a very bad person. But somehow you made it worse. Now, they're not exactly on the list because these aren't pre-sold costumes. These are, are, uh, th these are homemade costumes. And I will notice that these costumes, while being homemade, are, are and that, that, yes, that is a small child dressed up at the very bottom. That, that with, is a small child. With a dolly. With a dolly. I will notice the person involved, Ray Rice, is of the African-American persuasion. He's of a darker complexion. But all of the people dressing up like him are Caucasian. Yes. 
look, we're sorry for white people, okay? We didn't think it was going to turn out the way it did. We thought diversity would be a great thing. Everybody shouldn't have to look the same. It'll be a beautiful rainbow. And then fucking white people, man, they just lost the plot. And we haven't really figured out what to do about it. Well, we didn't while I was working there. I'm pretty sure they still haven't figured out what to do about it. Anytime I ask about it, like, so, hey, 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 guys, what are you guys doing about the white people thing? They just start drinking. So, I mean, we're sorry. One person in the chat called this black and blue face. That's pretty bad. That's... What, what is this one here? Let me do a thing. Click the buttons. You keep enjoying that blackface audience. It's, it's, yes, that's in the, that's, that, yes. I, we'll, we'll get there. It's time for the official list. There are 10 of these that we're going to get through. I'm so sorry. Well, actually, I have one more runner up. It's not just women here. It's, it's not just women because men, Someone needs to have a talk with you as well. Um, uh, this this is not going to th this will not ensure mating by any means of of this is just, it's not going to happen. That's not. Oh, it has breakaway pants. It has breakaway pants. How festive. It's, except you'll you'll not. I don't think you'll need to be taking those off at any point during the evening, except alone later. I will note one of the reasons I'm particularly proud of my work on the team that designed the hippo. Nobody's dressing like a sexy hippo. Yet. Well, the first thing, um, Doctor Seuss was a beloved children's author. He wrote these wonderful, whimsical stories about life and learning that for, for all of your younglings, they, they could understand and, and, you know, grow with. Here's what you did with them. The sexy cat in the hat. That's it. Yeah, there it is. That's the what they, you, you want. The implication being someone somewhere wants to have sex with the cat in the hat. What's interesting to me is they make the hat so small, like you've ruined the giant phallus potential in the costume. I mean, come on. The cat in the hat is wearing this giant phallic hat, and then he's got thing one and thing two, clearly his balls. The whole story is just about, you know, male aggression and its destructive nature. I hope I just ruined Dr. Seuss for at least one of you. That... There it is. <sighs> Next on the list, it's... it's... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I've in one of your past episodes this actually happened. So but this this monstrosity, I don't understand how this inspires any sort of erotic feeling. Um the deluxe sexy neon octopus. Well, clearly you haven't studied enough human porn if you don't understand how that's sexy. I mean, tentacles? That's, that's not even, what is going on there? Humans love some tentacles. It only has one eye. The tentacles are all over the place. Yeah, there's only supposed to be eight of those. Well, she's got extras. I really don't think guys are looking at this and going, yes, I want to put my penis in a squid. Wait, no, that happened. 
we did that story. So they are. It's just a niche market. This is, I, I do have to say this costume is not a train wreck. I mean, just look at this thing. It is a bit of an assault on the senses, color-wise. This thing is a nightmare. And there, I'm pretty confident there isn't an octopus. At least there wasn't when we were working on them. But, you know, let me also just settle this thing for you. Evolution is a thing. Everybody upstairs knows it. None of us are opposed to it. We made things, they changed. We're cool with it. When we made the octopodes, none of them look like this. But, I mean, you get enough LSD in the water, I suppose it's possible over time. One eye, 14 tentacles. White. And neon. I, but this, I don't this, remember making anything like that. Now, the next one on our list is kind of confusing to me because everyone got all, all up in arms over this one. They're very, very big deal about this event when it happened. I didn't quite understand what the concern was. Um, you know, you're, you're all, all losing your minds, but... My secretary looks like that. What's the big deal? I don't understand. Oh, it's a co- I haven't seen this. You know, much, much study and focus group was put into how many boobs the human female should have. Like, I mean, thanks to creative editing, it looks like Adam was just out for a couple of seconds. It was like fucking days, okay? Because this wasn't something we planned for. It wasn't something dad planned for. Like he thought he had it all figured out. And then, boom, suddenly we need a whole new species or a subspecies, you know, whatever. So a lot of, a lot of, hemming and hawing went into this and the human psychology was designed to like symmetry so we eventually went with two i don't know how the three became a thing i i shudder to think that it has anything to do with the holy trinity wasn't there a man who tried to design a car with three headlights once just came into my mind for some reason i don't know why um 56 dollars for that? That's the cheapest boob job on this ethereal plane. It's it, price after coupon, $50.36. Oh, what a savings. That's value. <sighs> oh, it just, I. <sighs> Look, All right, ladies, we designed the human brain to appreciate symmetry. If a man wants you to have a third boom, he's already sold his soul to the other side. And you want no truck with that. Because I can't even tell you how many boobs they have going on down there. Wow. It's just everywhere's boob. It just, oof. <sighs> boobs a go-go. All right. I, I, there was this adorable and rather silly film you had, Guardians of the Galaxy. Charming and darling, and the breakout character of that sh- that little adventure was a talking raccoon with a machine gun. Who apparently people want to fuck. Not gonna lie, I mean it wouldn't be my cup of tea, but I kind of get that. I could see where that's going. Sexy rocket raccoon. That's some really good makeup. I think you're missing the point here. I can't really... Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of accurate accurate to what he wears in the movie, though. (laughs) He does kind of wear little raccoon hot pants. Okay, the point... (laughs) You're missing I'm it. just saying it's canon appropriate. Is, is, is there a problem now that people are getting rabies the wrong way? Well, yes, actually. Who, who wants it? 
It's not safe to once have sex. With rocket fucking raccoon. I don't... It's, uh... I mean, at least it's an anthropomorphized raccoon. And it's not just people wanting to find a regular old calf raccoon that eats your garbage sexy. No, it's the one with the machine gun. That's the one. Well, again. Salad. This one, I, again, it's I, kind I, of I our big know, joke. Yeah, everything is penis. Yeah. I've noticed. Everything's everything's penis. We just laugh and laugh at that. You have these movies about people who kill people. You have to narrow that down. Like it's it's a well, there's so many ways. You know, the slasher fix, the psychological horror fix, the the classical horror. Fix. You have so so many ways. I would not think that would be sexy, especially not a movie about a man who is part of a family that cuts up and eats women and other people. But no, here you are, sexy Leatherface. Notice she's missing something for the appropriate part of the attire. That's kind of an oxymoron. Oh, good! It's on sale! Half off! Yeah, it kind of doesn't work without the mask. Everyone run out and grab one. While you can. Now, if it was Sexy Butterface, that would be funny. Oh, that's, that's not... That's not cool. Because at least that's a thing. That's not cool, though. That's to Toad's not cool. Toad's not cool. Toad's not cool. I mean, I'm not saying I would support it, but at least it would be a good pun. I don't think you were ever supposed to find Leatherface sexy. Someone does! Someone was sitting in the theater one night watching this rampage and went, you know, I really want to fuck you. It's just too bad he's not a hot chick. Well, problem solved. Oh, God, this next one. Um, You had another movie. You keep doing this thing with the movies, especially the kids' movies. What is it with the kids' movies? The other side is on their fucking game, man. I don't know what to think. Sexy Olaf from Frozen. Not even one of the princesses? Oh. This turned someone on. This triggered the evolutionary spark that says it's time to mate and continue my species, and to do so, I will stick my dick in a snowman! That wouldn't continue the species at all. Exactly! Exactly! Also, you could make this costume for probably $10 less than they're selling it for. Not the point! Again, not the point! I've been at this a long time, man. I'm just skipping right over sticking your dick in a snowman. Well, there was a horror movie that did that. Well, the snowman did. He took off his carrot nose and put it where his dick should be and buggered a girl with it. <sighs> I suppose technically he didn't bugger her. But, you know. <sighs> no, ladies and gentlemen. The funny thing is, sticking it in snow, wouldn't that make it shrink? It would! It would work! Your dreams are a lie! It's never gonna happen! Stop it. So this next one, I take great offense to. This is not right, and it's it, this. This is racist. Uh, 
I know. I know, Yoda, sir. I was a friend to Yoda, and you are no Yoda. Look at this. You know Yoda? I did. He was kind of a dick, actually. But still, my point stands. He was a buzzkill, total buzzkill. So I'm still offended. Look at this. And it's not even... Uh, it's not even a Yoda head. It's like someone caught Yoda and carved out part of his skull and planted it jauntily on their scalp. Yeah, it's sort of like sexy I'm the person that killed and skinned Yoda costume. Yes! You're wearing a dead Yoda! I stole his little robe and I made it into a dress. And oh look, here's his skull on my head. And actually, if you look at it that way, the robe is kind of to scale. It's a point, yes. But still, that's messed up, yo. All those years, people were watching Star Wars and went, Yoda's where it's at. That's... That's what we're going to be having this year. That, that's... I, I'm going to be having me some Yoda. Earth is a very strange oh. place. We have three more left. Can you believe it? They only get worse. The top three. They only, they only get worse from here. This is where we get into the true horror, ladies and gentlemen. I debated which of these to put at number three. And which to put at number two, because they're just, they're, they're interchangeably horrific. But I guess we'll start with this one. Do I have to say any damn thing here? <sighs> Who wants to get up in Ronald McDonald? Huh. Oh, and I like that they show more than one hair option. And you know, it would only cost the low, low price of $100 to dress yourself as this abomination. That is really... Something. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse. I mean, sexy Wendy? At least Wendy's a girl. I guess I get it. But, yes, this is... All those years of watching the McDonald's commercials. I understand the food is horrible for you. But apparently the clown's horrible for you too because it fucks up your head. Walk your brain. Now you want to have sex with it. Yeah, I'm someone who actually kind of unabashedly eats McDonald's on a regular basis. I know, you know. But, I mean... But you don't want to fuck the clown! I can't indulge in too much sin. I'm still a member of the family. So, you know, you get you get your jollies where you can. But there's nothing sexy about it. It's greasy and really salty. And, well, actually, all right. Also, here's, here's a sadness I, I'm noticing here. All of these models were obviously paid to be here. You can tell their excitement is so fake in their dying inside. Just look on her face. Well, it's not exactly something you want to put in your portfolio. Yeah, it's 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 just it she's just she's got this I used to be a person. Please I remember that one. Please kill me. I think this next one is, is just... It's another one, I don't even have to fucking explain it. I, I don't have to explain a bit of it. Sexy baby! And not sexy baby! There's only one type of person 
to whom this appeals, and you really do not want to try to attract them. No, really. Unless you're running a certain show on NBC. Yeah. But not for dating. He doesn't do that for dating purposes, though. He's not filling out, he's not keeping lists in a little black book. He's sending that to Jerry. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, this, if you're participating in a sting operation. This is, this is not what you, you don't dress yourself up like this thinking, I'm going to get laid tonight. No, you're not. You're going, most, most gentlemen well, and some ladies. Really? There is, I mean, come on, you got to know about that fetish. Adult diapers. No, I don't have to. I don't have to, and you don't, and, and I, I refuse to. They're, they they make adult diapers for fetish purposes. La, 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 la. I'm not saying it's my la, thing, la, la. but it's a thing that people do. And you la, know what? La, 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 cool. la, la, If you're la, not bothering anybody. La, 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 yeah, this is a thing, actually. No. It is. I don't want... No. It, it's a thing. It's repugnant. Well, I guess we're up to the top of the last one. This speaking of repugnant. Oh, my. And wait, it's, it's not one. This is this is the one that's so nice they had to do it twice. The sexy Ebola containment suit. Topical. Yeah. Because of, of course, when you say Ebola, I think suitable candidate for breeding. That's. Someone out there went, you know, this whole bleeding out of every hole thing, kind of hot. You know what really pisses Dad off? When you mock the four horsemen. They're not to be fucked with. Like, we're kind of scared of them. I don't fuck with them. But wait, maybe, maybe, just maybe you so find like, this bird. If Plague is on the fucking job, we don't mock him. Maybe, just just maybe, you find this a tiny bit, say, conservative. Well, you're in luck. There's a bit, there, there's a more risque version available. It's not going to protect you. No! It's not very functional, not at all. Here is the, the, the terrifying part. Two people on two different continents. This is from the UK, the other one's from America. Two people on two different continents had the same damned idea. At the same time. You know what the biggest problem the other side faces? Like, yeah, they've got the tech. And they're really fucking savvy. But they can't possibly keep up with the shit you mortals think of yourselves. There isn't, there isn't a fucking demon down there who can keep up with you little miscreants. They can't do it. And I mean, it's kind of a problem for us, too, because... Well, that's why St. King drinks. I'm looking at this woman's picture. That's the come hither look, is it not? So, for this photo shoot, they dress her up in accoutrements befitting death and destruction of sorts and tell her, make love to the cat. Do sexy. I mean, if you're quarantined with someone, you have 21 days and nothing to do. Hump like bunnies. What else are you going to do? And if you're already quarantined together, 
but that kind of would negate the purpose of the protective gear. Apparently, this is something to sneeze at. Yeah, bless you. Oh, so that's, uh, that, that is our collection this year. Don't, uh, don't fuck it. Don't think about fucking it. Don't want to fuck it. Don't fuck it. Don't do it. Just don't. You know, there's a lot of sexy alien costumes out there. I've never seen the Giger one done sexy, though. That would be hilarious. That's kind of a tone. That would be... I I, everything is dicks. This whole planet is dicks. Dick, 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 dick. Look, creating a world and filling it with life is an arduous process. You get your kicks. Penis. 